So what is up Africana fam? It's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I achieved these brown highlights as well as using the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. So if you want to see how I got this and keep on watching. So going straight into the video, we're going to be using a L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach and I'll be using this bleach just to tone our hair to a nice brown base. I wanted to do a very nice brown base um for this wig and then go into the highlights so what i'm using is i'm using five scoops of the quick blue bleach and i'm putting it inside of this bucket because we're gonna dye the dirty way today you guys this is very i guess beginner friendly if you're not really a precise person and you just want to get it you know one and done then by all means go ahead and do this method so i use five scoops and now i'm going in with clear developer i'm using the 10 volume developer and this is from just any brand you could just get any brand doesn't matter so i just used the entire bottle i got a pretty big bottle and i'm going to use this whisk this hair whisk that i bought from amazon and i'm just going to go ahead and whisk all that up until all the clumps and lumps are gone and you just want this consistency to be very very watery because you just want it to apply to the hair very easily and now going into the hair, this hair is sponsored from IC Hair. I have their 26 inch Mongolian curly and the frontal is the 13 by 6. So right now what I'm doing is being very messy. <laughs> and I have my gloves on as well so make sure you have your gloves on so you don't burn yourself. I'm just going in I'm just dipping the hair inside. I already have my hair parted into a middle part so when I'm dipping the hair I know exactly where I'm placing it and I'm using my hands pretty much as the brush you know also Picasso you know. <laughs> and I'm just combing the hair through and just being pretty messy like you want to make sure that each side is even as well that's why i have it split in the middle so one side isn't you know higher than the other and as you guys can see it came out beautifully i let that sit for 30 minutes in a plastic bag and this is the color that i got as you guys can see the curl definitely kept its integrity that's the pro about using a lower developer and now what I did is I divided my hair into five sections for our highlights now. And the hair is dry by the way you guys. So make sure the hair dries before you go into the highlights. So now what I'm doing is, and I learned this method from my good friend, Slay by Jordan. I love him so much. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I am pretty much using my fingers as like the weaving technique. And I use like my four fingers to just grab through and I'm using every other um, patch of hair. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I use every other patch of hair in between my fingers. So right now I'm working on the outside, the middle, and then the outside again of those patches. And then within those three parts of the, um, you know, the sections that I have, you're going to go like intertwine so that the highlights aren't in the same exact spot. You want them to be sporadic and all over the place. So, oh yeah, so I went ahead and used some, the same bleach, but a 40 volume developer this time. And I'm going in and I used a bottle just to, you know, spray it. Again, you wanna make sure it's a watery consistency just so that it gets through the hair because curly hair is very thick. It's not like, you know, your average straight hair where it could penetrate easily. So just make sure that it's very watery. And right now I'm on to my second section and um, I'm using alternate um, sections just so we can have those highlights all over the place and then I'm just using my hands and I'm just massaging the bleach into the hair. I'm praying that I'm making sense and I'm not all over the place. And now on to the third section for the tracks gonna use my hands split that in between and I'm gonna weave in between and like I said you want to make sure that the highlights aren't in the same exact spot so if you were to go in between um, each of them you'll see that the highlights are located in different sections and that's what you want you don't want a big line going down of just highlights that looks dumb you guys <laughs> Now on to the frontal. So the frontal, I divided the frontal into four parts on each side of the middle part. And you're just gonna do the same weaving technique 
I went ahead and divided that, divided my section. I'm going to use my fingers. And then we're going to choose that middle section in between. Boom, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and use our die. And as for the frontal section, I wanted it to be a little bit more precise because I, I didn't want to risk any lines of demarcation. So um, I went in and used a brush and a comb just to comb it through and to make sure that there is no harsh lines in between. Another way to, you know, like not have lines of demarcation is using your hands and just rubbing it in between as I did. And now on to the next section. I'm going to use alternate sections. So again, like I used the middle one, this section I used the ones on the ends. And you're just gonna keep on doing that until you get to the top. And like I said, for the section part, not the section part, the frontal part, I did four sections. And all this is just pretty repetitive, you guys. You guys can see. Now I'm going into the middle part. Using the bleach. Using my hands to massage it. And then on to the last part. Now the last part is I'm using the two outer sides. And this is where I use the brush at because like I said, I didn't want that line of demarcation. And just really massaging that bleach in. And I did that for the other side. And this is what we got, you guys. I made sure I just washed it. I used purple shampoo and then I just conditioned it. And then this is how we are looking. It's giving Yonce, it's giving partition vibes, you know? Um, <laughs> but as you guys, I'm feeling it, you guys. I wanted the highlighted parts to be a little bit lighter. But then that would mean that I would have to risk um, the integrity of the curl. And I didn't want the curl to drop, so it's okay. But overall, this is what you should get. And if you use foil, you'll definitely get a lighter um, result as well, too. That's my fault. But it's okay. I didn't want it to be that light anyways. So now on to the install part. I'm going to go ahead and cut off those ear tabs. As y'all can see, I have a big head, so there's not much to cut off except for the excess lace. Now I'll be using my 91% alcohol and this cotton pad and I'll be wiping down my forehead just to make sure all the dirts and oils are off my forehead for this install. Now I'm going into the Erica J Watermelon Adhesive. You guys, this stuff smells, you can smell the stuff before you even open it. Like, it just, that's just so fruitylicious, you know? It's so fruitylicious, you smell the fruitylicious within it. And I like the smell of it, the smell definitely lasts, and it's not overwhelming as well. So I went ahead and sprayed the skin guard on my forehead before I applied the glue, and now I'll be applying the glue, and I used two layers of the watermelon adhesive and this thing stick I'm so happy that the bottle was a little bit bigger so you know I get to use it more but <laughs> yeah you guys the glue also smells like watermelon as you guys can see I'm smelling it <laughs> and she also sent over some of her sticks as well it's so easy for me to um, pretty much just lay my glue down nice and flat without me struggling because sometimes I'd be struggling but yeah, you guys, overall, this glue is bomb.com. It's the same formula as her um, other glue, um, but it's just the smell that's different. So if you're not into that strong, chemically smelling type of glue, this is definitely the glue for you, okay? And like I said, I went ahead and do two layers. So I did the first layer, let, it, let that dry completely before I did the second layer. And then we're going to go in to meshing down that lace into the glue. So now that it is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and place my wig on top of the glue. And this is regular, regular. You wanna make sure that 
um, the hairline in general is in front of the glue rather than behind the glue because you can't clean up well, now you not that you can't it's very hard to clean up glue so you want to make sure that it's in the front of it so if you have any pieces that you need to glue down you can do that instead of trying to clean up the glue and now what I'm doing is I'm cutting some slits into my hair and I'm gonna work in sections and I'll be using my eyebrow razor just to cut off that excess lace because I want to make sure that it's nice and um, hair like looking um, the eyebrow razor helps you have like a more natural look and a more jagged look when it comes to cutting the lace than for you to cut it straight across and if y'all see a little stubble from my air armpits please don't mind me don't come for me in the comments y'all like I know I needed to shave a little bit but uh, listen this is nature it's natural okay <laughs> And now I'm going in to the sides and I'm cutting off that excess lace on the sides. And then I'm just going, I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb and a little bit of glue, and I'm just gonna catch the parts that I didn't catch. And then I'll be using my comb and then just pushing that lace down into it. Now on to baby hairs. I'm going to cut out, well not cut out, but um, part out the hairs that I want my baby hairs to be at and one thing I have honestly noticed you guys it is so much easier doing baby hairs on curly hair than it is on straight hair I don't know why I think maybe because the texture of the hair it's just easier to mold hair um the baby hairs that's just my conclusion though but um right now what i'm doing is i'm using my hot comb and i'm hot combing my hairline just so that it's nice and neat and the hot comb is really a game changer like i feel like that definitely took my wig from zero to 100. and i'm just hot combing my baby hairs And then I'm also going to be hot combing the top part as well. I like my installs to be nice and flat as possible. And like I said, this really changes the look and the dynamic of your install. As you guys can see, like, I don't know, like the wig just looks a hundred times better when I um, hot combed it. And now on to the melting process. I'm gonna go ahead and tie up my hair and then use my Gossipy Free Spray and then spray that around my hairline just to further the melt. And I'll be going into my elastic band and I'll be tying that and letting that sit for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and as you guys can see that lace is melted now on to the baby hairs I'm gonna go ahead and use my razor comb and I'm going to cut my baby hairs And if you guys hear some noise in the background, please don't mind. It's Thanksgiving right now and um, people are cooking. So I have nowhere to escape. So <laughs> yeah, I might just have to deal with it a little bit. But now going into my setting lotion, I'm using my Nairobi setting lotion just to mold those baby hairs. And as I can see, it was a breeze for me, y'all. I was just swooping and duping.
all right y'all so now that that's done i'm going into my silk wrap and i'll be using that just to wrap around my hair alongside with the elastic band and i'm letting that sit until it dries so probably like for like a good 20 to 25 minutes and now while i'm wetting while i'm letting it not wetting it while i'm letting it dry i'm going to go ahead and wet my hair just to prep it for um the final look you guys and i just use water and conditioner in a spray bottle and just did sections and then used my paddle comb well, my paddle brush and just brushed out those curls just so it's nice and defined Alright you guys, and now I'll be taking off the band, and this is how the final looks look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and I'll see you guys in the next segment. Later!